Greetings everyone, Brett here with Hammerhead Model Making, back with another 5 minute review. Today we're going to be looking at a set called World War II RAF Airfield by ICM. Now I purchased this kit because I was looking for some RAF figures to go along with the Edward Mark I Spitfire that I was building. But when I received this I was pleasantly surprised to, not, to see that not only did it come with a Spitfire in the kit, it actually came with two Spitfires. So you get a Mark 9 and a Mark 7 Spitfire in here, in addition to um, about seven figures, a dog, and equipment. So this was really just like Christmas morning, opening this up and seeing how much stuff was packed in here. And uh, so let's just take a look at each one of these things. So here are the figures and the equipment that they come with. The figures themselves are quite nice, and the sculpting is, is very sharp and, and detailed. I it, it looks like there's a little bit of um, mold slippage with with the mold here as the tops and bottom halves don't totally align so there's it leaves some rather large uh, mold seams along all the parts but the actual detail itself is really looks really nice and high quality you get little pieces of equipment uh, to populate your your airfield diorama that you're making so the figures look really nice moving on to the spitfires so here are the clear parts they're okay the uh the rounded parts the clarity is is iffy but the flat parts pretty nice interior detail looks pretty good on this um one of the things again i was surprised with this kit is you actually get uh full engine detail as well as gun bay detail so I mean, this this kit was just packing all kinds of surprises here. I've I've never built an ICM Spitfire, so I don't necessarily speak. I can't speak to how I think it would build up, but overall, it doesn't look terrible, and you get a lot of options. So both both the Spitfire kits are pretty much the same. It looks like there's just different optional parts if you choose to make the Mark IX or the Mark VII. Uh, so you do get quite a few different options in the kit, plus ordnance rockets bombs you get the um the streamlined drop tank that goes underneath there is a weird texture to some of the parts so i don't know if that's just part of the the tool machining but it, it, it's there on some of them but not all the parts here you can see the upper and lower wings and the openings for the gun bays uh these were armed with the 20 millimeter cannons decals you get two marking options for each aircraft they the decals look good i mean i I, I, I've used ICM decals back on my B-26 project, so, I mean, they're they're good decals. They seem to work well. They, they do appear a little thick, um, but, you know, it could just be what it is. So here are the two marking op options for the Mark 9. You get this Spitfire here, FYF, um, in kind of the, the normal gray and green paint scheme. Uh, pretty standard. Uh, this one is JEJ -E -J with invasion stripes. So pretty nice. And then for the Mark 7, they kind of do this weird thing where uh, one half of the image is one marking option, the other half of the image is another marking option. So you get two full marking options. They just show them on the same drawing here. So again, one has invasion stripes, one doesn't. And the Mark 7 here has the extended wing tips, so they look pretty cool. Here's a quick look at the instructions. They're relatively the same for both kits, so I'm just going to show you one here. But it's pretty logical how it all builds up. You can you can pause this if you want to take a closer look. But um, yeah, I mean, I think here's the, the the cool part about this kit is this kit cost me forty five dollars, so. As far as I know, I don't think that, that was like the, a sale price or anything. I think that that's the actual retail price of the kit, at least from the hobby shop that I picked it up from. So for forty-five bucks, you're getting seven figures plus a dog plus the equipment plus two full Spitfire kits that come with full engine and gun bays. Um, I mean, that sounds like a steal in my book. So, yeah, this was this was a fun surprise of a kit to get, and uh, definitely going to be trying out these Spitfires, see how they build up and um you know excited to use the figures for the intended use of my mark one spitfire that i'm doing so anyways take care i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think down below if you've built this kit before let me know what you think about it and we'll see you on the next video also thank you to my patrons